Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am working on this super cute stool. It's such a tiny little stool, I just think it's adorable. And I saw it on Marketplace and I thought it would be perfect for a trash to treasure. At this point, I didn't quite still knew what I wanted to do with the stool. I knew I wanted to paint it, of course, but I wasn't sure if I was going to reupholster it or just change the whole thing. But I knew I wanted to remove this fabric, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And let me tell you, whoever upholstered this did a phenomenal job. It was the hardest thing ever. I decided not to reupholster it, so I'm going to remove all the foam. I had uh, several scraps of lumber in the garage, and I grabbed these uh, one by sixes and I cut them to length, and they're all the same um, size. I'm going to be kind of planking the top, I guess, but making it more instead of a stool, I'm going to be making a table. So I am putting a panel behind it to keep everything together and make it very, very uh, secure. I am using my table saw to make the cuts on the paneling. I'm going to be securing the panel to the lumber with some wood glue and some staples. And I'm going to also glue each uh, lumber, I guess each plank, to each other. So again, just to give it more um, stability. Right now I am basically dry fitting the stool to the boards and I am marking where I want to screw it in because I want each plank to have at least three to four screws. I added wood glue to the um, bottom or in this case would be the top of the stool and I'm going to be securing it with one and a quarter inch wood screws and my drill. Once everything was put together, I sanded the top with a 220 grit sandpaper and my electric sander. That way everything is nice and smooth and no splinters anywhere.
I will be distressing the entire table, so I want that top to have a darker tone, and I am going to stain it with a brighter smoke tone. That way, when I distress it, the darker tone will show through. Once the stain was completely dry, then I brought it inside the house and I am going to give it two coats of white chalk paint. This is Rust-Oleum and Linen White. And I did the bottom of the table as well because I just wanted everything to kind of blend in and not have all these multi-tones underneath. Once the paint was completely dry, I wanted to add a stencil and I've used this stencil on multiple of my projects so it's probably going to be familiar to you if you've seen my videos. I am using a chippy, inexpensive brush that I cut to be kind of stubby and that way it's flat and perfect for stenciling and I'm just using a gray chalk paint to um, uh, kind of have that uh, contrast against the white. And once the stencil was fully dry, then I started distressing with 220 grit sandpaper and my palm sander. And just giving it a light sand, but just making it blend and making sure that everything just kind of comes together. I am distressing the legs and the bottom of the table by hand. Uh, the palm sander sometimes is harder with these rounded legs. So I'm just using a 220 grit sandpaper, uh, a piece of one really, and just smoothing everything out and lightly distressing uh, some areas. And of course, giving it a couple coats of polycrylic so that it is nice and durable. And there it is. Look what a beautiful, beautiful table it is now. From a outdated stool to this beautiful side table. This cutie would look adorable as a side table or an outdoor table or even a plant holder. It just shows you that somebody's trash can be somebody else's treasure with a little bit of work and some creativity. No matter what it's used for, I think it's super cute and it'll look super cute in any space. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.